guys, this is the BMW 600. This was also called the Big Isetta. Also, this was not uh, marked, marketed um, or distributed as Isetta. But well, as you can see, it's looking very much alike the uh, Isetta with the uh, door at the front to get in. But we also have a second row of seats. And look at this, just like as yesterday, a wonderful old trailer for camping just to sleep. Most likely, I guess, uh, if everything is open. And here again, the rear end of the BMW 600. First time I'm seeing a black DeLorean DMC 12. Never seen one in black. I've seen the most likely in silver actually they are unpainted because it's just uh, the stainless steel body and i've also seen a couple of times a red one but yet i have never seen a black one that's also a good suiting color it's not open but well classic wheels This is an old Volkswagen Beetle with a textile roof from 1958, guys. And look at this, you can even see the wheel uh, <laughs> cap from the DeLorean there. I can still remember them from my childhood with this uh, small thingy here. But of course the more modern one as well, I mean this is uh, the latest one that was built in Germany. I mean not exactly this one, but it was the latest uh, shape of it, with the big tail lamps and so on. Beetle Revival. So see here, this is one from the 70s. And here's the one from the late 50s. Like as from the Opel meeting, Opel Kadett uh, D. This is a GLS. Loving these old steel wheels. They're also very typical. I thought they've been from the uh, Kadett E, but well, maybe it was also for the, um, for the D. And here, guys, an Opel car that B Voyage or Voyage. So, this was the estate version of it. Um, like I told you in one of my previous videos, uh, estates haven't been a big thing uh, back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Just in the 90s, uh, they have become more popular. So this is really a raw site. Yeah, even more opals. This is an Opel Manta A. Perhaps I've even seen this one at the meeting in uh, Kaichtal. Not 100% certain because I cannot remember the uh, spoiler wing, but probably it was there. I mean, there were so many. <laughs> and here another Opel Manta. This is the Manta A. So the German Stingray, as you can remember, and you can also see the Stingray here. So, Manta GTE. But I hope I didn't call this a Manta B because it's a Manta A. And here is an Opel Kadett C Coupe. And left beside we have an Opel Astra F. Uh, it's called Caravan because it's the estate. And then over here we have a green Opel Record that I've probably also seen at the meeting on Thursday, but I'm not 100% certain. But I'm thinking there was a green one. Opel Ascona B. And here a wonderful. Opel Kadett C Coupe, it's in C1, so phase one, so pre-facelift. 
in this wonderful two-tone paint of uh, black on the bottom and yellow on the top. Well, actually you can see it by yourself <laughs> Why am I just uh, telling it to you. And here just the rear and beautiful car. And this is the Opel Escona B, the Opel Record. I don't remember the uh, generation, but this one was the last generation, but the pre-facelift, so also phase one. And here, Opel Astra F. And here, guys, is the Opel Coupe, Opel Kadett C Coupe. And here we have the Opel Escona C3, K C3, because it's a Kynard C3. So this is the original, the original Kynard Cabriolet, what I was telling you about, and I wasn't sure. But here, the, this is the real one. This one is from 1983, like as my Audi. And oh, when talking about Audi. I have to tell you something. Oh, and see, it also has the pre facelift um, tail lamps. And as you can see, Opel and here Kynard C3. So, this is the official Kynard Cabriolet. Beautiful, guys, beautiful. Kynard was one of the guys who was creating these wonderful cabriolets because Opel didn't do that by themselves. Wonderful model. And here we even have two wonderful Audi 80 B1 Type 80. Type 80 was just the pre-facelift, the facelift was called uh, Type 82. While the B2, like mine, is the Type 81 or 85 depending if it's a rear wheel drive or a rear wheel drive all wheel drive or front wheel drive and this this year was just the first generation of the audi 80 take a look over here uh, hard to see maybe we can see it here better yeah well let's try it so this was just the start of the audi 80 and well, talking about mine, I'm today not here with my Audi because, well, the brake fluid, I was letting it check because it was very dark and, well, <laughs> it's not recommended to drive right now, so I have to wait until June when they will just uh, do everything, complete service of my car and then I can drive again with my Audi. And did you guys even know that this car was also actually an Audi. This was the Audi 50 and later Volkswagen took it over to them, to their brand, to only sell it as a Polo. I'm thinking for some time at the beginning it was uh, sold uh, together with the Audi 50. The Audi 50 was just the, uh, well, the more luxurious, if you can call it like this, version of the Polo. The front is also looking very much the same as uh, for the Audi 80. Also the uh, rear end is looking much like uh, the Volkswagen Golf, but the Golf wasn't uh, designed by someone else. And well, at the front you will notice it's also looking very similar to the Audi 80 that I was just showing you before. So, just see this here. And here we have the Volkswagen Beetle. And right beside is the blue Jetta. So the owner, the previous owner, also died on cancer, if I'm not mistaken. Was also a cool guy. I've only seen him uh, a few times on YouTube. But well. I'm happy that uh, his girlfriend is still driving this car, so very cool and happy to see the car. And here, as it stands there, no more fully original, but this is a Volkswagen Beetle from 1968. And rear side again, 
Opel Kadett C a caravan or what it's called Voyage. I'm not I want to person certain about that, but well it's the estate of the Kadett C, which is also a rare site. It also it also has been a rare site back in the old days and even rarer nowadays. And here a green GTE, it's the coupe. GTE, loving this. And this is the uh, facelift, so the phase 2 or C2. The same about the estate, it's also a C2. Here guys we have a glass 2600 and a glass was also the company that built the, um, the Gogo Mobile. But these ones here were the big cars and maybe you can also remember this car as a BMW because this car was still built when BMW was purchasing the glass company and they only did a minor change about the front so they put their BMW logo to there where here is the G logo of glass not of Gogomobile It seems like today I'm the lucky guy about uh, Porsche, uh, Porsche, Opel uh, caravans, Opel estates, because this guy is, is an Opel record. Look at this guys, wow. And here stands Olympia. But well, it's in a record. So you can see here. Beautiful. And here we have an old Fiat, what is it called? Ah, the stands there. Campagnola AR55 from 1957, guys. Beautiful, beautiful little Fiat Jeep. And here, just see it here, Fiat. Yeah? So this is not a Willys or something like that. I only wish that the car just beside would also um, park in reverse because then it would be easier to film because there's a wonderful Toyota Land Cruiser but well now I'm still filming here the Campagnola from Fiat even with some details about when you have to switch to the next gear very interesting guys but well now let's go to the um, Land Cruiser. So my big reaching to uh, 4x4 Jive, or no, was it 4? Oh, I cannot remember your name right now. Oh, damn it. But well, I'm sure when you're seeing this, you will loving it. I only wished to see it more uh, in the camera. But like I told you, the guy was um, not parking in reverse here, so this is of course difficult so you can only get it from behind and here we have an NSU row 80 the row stands for rotary engine built in Neckarsulm by NSU nowadays there's the plant of Audi but uh, this NSU Row 80 has nothing to do about the Audi 80. The Audi 80 was never built in uh, Nekasom.